Bored with the same old burgers? Well, we've got a new idea for you today. Gretchen Weyer is here from Chef's On Call Catering with a cool recipe, Asian tuna burgers. Good to have you with us today. Good to be here. All right, if you will, a lot of folks trying to be healthy, trying to find new takes on things, and you've got a new take on the burger here. Something people may want to try this weekend as they're cooking out for, for Labor Day. Absolutely, I know I will. All right, so this is canned tuna, mm -hmm. because I happen to like canned tuna better than, you can use fresh, but canned tuna, Okay. fresh ginger, minced very finely, uh, scallions chopped very finely. You just put them in a bowl, all of it. This is going to be the mix for All right. the patty. Now, let me ask you, too, while you're, you're doing this, have you tried this with anything else? I know you've got the, the, the tuna. Have, have you, you tried salmon, salmon or the other fish? Okay. Oh, yeah. You can definitely do salmon, um, as far as I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and egg whites. You okay. just want to add it, because this binds it together so that it holds. And certainly mayonnaise. It's not good without the mayonnaise. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> now, and with this... Regular? Do you do low fat on this one? I use, you can do any of it um, because it is just egg whites that bind together, but I use Smart Balance just to make it a little healthy. I'm a little off kick, so that, that's I okay. like it. That's quite all right. All right, so you take, you want to season it up and make it nice and good, but you want to go easy on the pepper because this whole thing is full of ginger, and if you guys have eaten a lot of ginger, you know what a kick it's got, so you want to make it nice and seasoned. Okay. All right, so you just want to keep mixing it up. And then you make patties of it with your hands, or you can take a cookie cutter. If you want to make perfectly even rounds of your perfectionist in your cooking like me, mm -hmm. then you can take it, take the cookie cutter, and you can just pack it down to the perfect shape. Okay, all right. All right, now you can use olive oil, or you can use the spray. Ah, the way you want to do it. Um, but you want to make sure that... It's not going to burn. Okay. All so right. Do I we would, need to have this set uh, preheated, I guess, for a bit before we start putting these in? Yes, it is preheated already. So you want to make sure that the pan is pretty hot when you get it on the stove. Okay. All and right. then you just stick them on there, and then you just kind of cook them a little bit. All right. And as you're putting them in there, them. tell me about Chef's on Call. This is kind Chef of cool. Chef on Call. Out. All right. Well, this is my personal catering, catering business. I just finished Le Cordon Bleu in Ottawa uh -huh. uh, in April. So I have started my business in Columbia, Tennessee. That's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. um, so it is just a brand new thing that... I'm into desserts mostly, but I can do anything from uh, wine courses to cooking uh, cuisine to desserts. So now you give the recipe, you actually come to the house and cook something? I can do anything that you want. Uh -huh. I do like to do the um, making it in my kitchen and then delivering it. That's okay. pretty much the idea. But I am more than willing to be your chef if you want. So Okay. So you've got these cooked, and after, after they're cooking, you cook them for how long? You cook them for a few minutes on few each minutes. side to okay. where you feel they are full, let, nice and stiff, like right. a normal burger. And then so, tell me about the slaw that you've got with them, too, here. The Asian slaw that I have is it is just it is red bell pepper, and you want to... Seed, peel and de-seed a cucumber, and you want to dice that up, and then you want to take some uh, slaw, and you mix it into the dressing, which okay. you put on the stove, and all you want to do is bring it to the boil, because it's just brown sugar, sesame oil, uh, fish sauce, and soy sauce. Okay. You want to just, all you want to do is just bring the uh, brown sugar down to where it's just a nice sauce, so you okay. just toss it together. And quickly, tell me about this great dessert here. That is chilled blueberry soup. That is my specialty right there. You take fresh blueberries because they're in season. You can use frozen. You can do raspberries, any kind. You just, you know, galore. Okay. Um, so you put them on the stove and you reduce it down. You put honey. You put half a cup of honey, three cups of the fresh blueberries, and one one half cup of water. And you put a little seasoning, you put uh, cloves, and you put uh, cinnamon stick in there. Right. And then you just reduce it down, and then when you're done, you strain it, and you put balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. So, awesome. And then well, you just add fresh yeah. to it. So, so we've got the recipe for that and the information in the, on our website. This is recipe number 4188. 4188 available on our website. And also, we'll put the information on our website, too, and on our hotline about Chef on Call Catering. Thank you for being with us Thank today. Thank you so All much. Right.